What's up, world? Welcome to another exciting video with me and B and the pup. Are you guys ready to get crafty? Hey, Bowie. Because we are I'm just trying to find a screen so I can see what y'all are talking about. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. All right, I'm back. And I'm knocking things over. But what's new? Just another day, right? Right. What another? Oh, well. What's up, y'all? Is viewable? Sweet. Have y'all had an awesome day? What's today? Monday? Have y'all had an awesome Monday? Boise, Idaho. My sister used to live there. Where are you guys watching from? Time to make the donuts? See. It is time to make the donuts. Jeff played around with it a little bit this morning. They look like, well, half of them look like this. But in order to not run out of time, I guess, something like that, um, I've gone ahead and pre-made a couple of them. So hopefully, sorry, I'm across the room right now looking for glitter, but nah, we ain't got to have it. All right. Now, for this project, I'm going to be using Quick Coat. And high build. What's up, Diane? Um, what is the white paper you work your art? So this paper is just a butcher paper, but one side is shiny. So if I need to, I can peel my figures off. Massachusetts. No worries, Lisa. Vacation, that's exciting. Okay, so currently got these bad boys that have almost set up. I just did them. Yeah, they're not even moving anymore. So I did some black and then some I guess donutty color, but it appeared, nope. It occurred to me that I didn't really know what color donuts actually are as I was working on this. Central California. Megan, as we discussed in the DMs, as soon as I get to that piece, I will message you and let you know first. You don't want me to do a piece that I'm not completely inspired to do because I feel like when you paint and it's you're not inspired to do it, you don't have like, it's not about a want to, it's about having a vision for the piece and I think Personally, if you try to force yourself to work on a piece that you haven't fully um, visualized in your head, that it, it just won't be everything that it should be or could be, if that makes sense. I am making donuts, but I cannot eat them because they are resin. You know what I mean? And they are actually really hot donuts. But um, you can use these molds for making actual donuts. I'm pretty sure that that's what they're actually for. 
You're from Fresno, California. Beautiful place. Okay, so what is about to happen is I already have the tops of my donuts in here. I went ahead and mixed them up so that we can, you guys aren't just watching me twiddle my thumbs. So what's going to happen is I'm going to mix some quick coat and I'm going to put it in these and then I'm going to pop these out and put it on top because when you bake donuts in these in your oven, the yeast in the donuts or whatever it is that's magical will rise so that it's domed on both sides. But since this has no rising agent in it, when it's cured, it'll be flat like this. And and nobody got time for a flat donut. So what I'm going to do is pop this out and put it in the other side over here and let it cure together. And that will make my fully round donut. In theory, we'll figure it out. Did you decide when you're going to do geodes so we could art along at the same time? Nancy, I believe that will be Friday evening. Uh, you're welcome, Lisa. <gasps> Judy! Oh, Emma, I'm so glad to see you. We miss you, but obviously, totally get it that you are, you know, super swamped with mom-type duties. What's up, Manuel? So, I'm going to use Quick Coat for this. Because Quick Coat has a uh, super short working time. It's a one-to-one. -one. You've got like four minutes to mix it and work with it. But then it cures in three to four hours. However, if you put it in a mold because of the... Okay. I can't remember if it's endothermic or exothermic, but... Whatever it is that makes it hot and cure happens faster, which is why you um, you don't want to leave your resin in your big mixing cups for a long time because it'll set up faster than it otherwise would. So I'm just um, mixing this in a cup instead of a graduated mixing cup, just because I'm out of my small graduated mixing cups. But these cups have the little lines on it, so I can fill it up to the same little line on both cups. And it's just like using a graduated cup. Just like with regular epoxy, art epoxy, craft epoxy, you really want to make sure that you are measuring exactly because if you have too much of one part than the other, it'll either never cure or just not cure properly. This stuff is goopy. Right on cue, Bowie is uh, in the background having a heyday. Love watching you talk with your hands. I'm glad it's not distracting. I worry about that sometimes. I'm a very um, enthusiastic talker. Words are hard. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but you know what I mean. A very visual speaker? No. One time Jeff asked me if I could speak if I sat on my hands, and it was very difficult. Words were then more hard. Animated. Thank you. Words. So, I'm sure you can find a little teeny tiny big baby mask. See, everyone knew the word animated but me. Also, in a minute, I'll show you guys how the piece from yesterday turned out. It turned out super cool. So, 
So glad I'm not alone, Susan. So just like with other resins, with Quick Coat, you have to scrape the sides and the bottom of your mixing cup. And since I mixed this from two cups, I'm going to pour the contents of one into the other so I can scrape what's on the walls of the other cup off. This is more risky when you're using Quick Coat because the working time is so minimal, but if you just keep reminding yourself that the clock is ticking and it's not art coat and you don't have two or three hours to work with it, um, you'll be okay. Also, it's worth noting that Quick Coat has almost no UV resistance protectiveness in it. It will yellow 100% of the time, probably even if it's kept in the dark. So don't use this if you're trying to do something white or light or clear because it's not going to be a cute color. I'm using Quick Coat because I want to show you guys uh, the sped up version and it'll be fine with black and brown. Did you guys hear Bowie in the background? He was being um, demanding so that he can get put up in his seat. Cute little nugget. Um, live capture, love that. It gets worse if you get agitated or mad. Yes, it does. I hardly ever get agitated or mad. I don't think anyways, but I'd imagine it would get worse. Robert, completely get it and agree. Emma, people laugh at me rather than what I'm saying all the time. Thank you, Megan. He is my precious little bean. Cujo turned, I think, 13 yesterday. I've been saying he's 13 for a while, but I think he actually made it to 13 yesterday. Oh, he is super bossy for sure. Right, Swamper? Um, another thing about Quick Coat is just like other resins, it'll get hot when it's starting to set up. So if you're mixing it and you feel it start to get a little warm, that's when your uh, for real countdown clock should tick up because it's when you're starting to cut it a little close. If you ever read a bottle of resin that says mix it in one bucket and then switch it to another bucket and continue mixing, what I'm doing right now, mixing between the two different cups, is what they're talking about. And that's just to ensure you have a complete and thorough mixture and you won't have any weak spots in your resin, which is common if, you're, if you don't mix thoroughly. That's impressive, Susan. Thank you, Megan and Susan. All right, I believe that's a full mixture. I don't have Clara here telling me that it's been a certain amount of time, so um, I'm eyeballing it. All right, first one we're gonna do is gonna be black, and I'm just gonna use some Alumilite black dye for this. I'm using this because it won't give you any cells or any you know, design elements. It's just a solid color. No sparkle, no shimmer, no nothing. And that is what I'm going to use to make it super opaque black for my black and gold donut. Sweet. Okay. Now I should have made sure that I can pop out my other the top donut before doing this, but uh, I just got excited and went with this all willy nilly. But that's okay. It will be fine. What well, Bowie, lay down. All right, let's hit with some heat. I don't think this actually matters, 
You're not going to be able to see it anyways. But a lot of times if I'm using quick coat and I want it to cure really fast, I'll heat it up because when resin gets hot, it will start to cure more quickly, which is why when you scorch your resin, get it really hot and it makes that little scab look. That's what that is. Word. There's part of our donut. And drop that in there. Other one. Just drop that in there. I'm just going to let those cure together. And now I'm going to try to make that color so that I can do the other half of this one. Uh, I'm scared because I ran out of the actual color that I started with. So I'm going to try to start with some dark caramel. I use light caramel for the base on the first one. So I'm going to have to find some yellow to add into this. Lucky for everyone. It's not yet getting warm, but it's close. All right. Brown base. Now it needs a little bit of yellow. All right. Not this yellow, apparently. Now it's starting to get warm. We're going to add some white to lighten it. Almost a thousand percent sure this donut's going to end up two different colors. But it's starting to get hot, so we don't have time to worry about it. One hundred percent two different colors, but I did put a drop of this brown in. That may be too much. All right, so what I'm gonna say is, is that one half of our donut got burnt a little bit. Bowie, uh-uh. It's just a tutor. I mean, that's what the menu said. That would be a great campaign slogan. All right, so now before that sets, I need to pop these bubbles. And put our donut tops in there. Now, Bowie said that it's not fair that he's still sitting here and he wants down to hang out with Tudor. All right, so shouldn't be long that this will take to cure. Ugh. All right, now, meow. Um, Yeah, was not kidding about little yellow. Can you save some of the color and lay a layer over the top of the donut to glaze it? Tutor in the house, exactly. What's the side you frost and then no one will ever know? 
Oh, that's the side you frost. I got you. Add a layer of frosting to the top of the double colored one. Absolutely that. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use high build to create our icing because it'll just stay where I put it. And it's always good to have um, a well, a well behaved icing, I suppose. So let's do that real quick. I forget how fast the high build cures, but we're going to read the box together. Why are you hungry all of a sudden? Reasons. Um, I think Vamp may be in the shadows. Is for sure. Nothing wrong with a multi-flavored donut. Emma, you don't have bagels in Australia? So, nope. Here's a piece from yesterday. You can see the waves. Just a little bit of texture. I think it turned out awesome. I was thinking about, I'm just gonna work this idea through my head with you guys while our donuts are setting up. I wonder, ooh, sorry, sorry, pardon, sorry. Thank you, Manuel, for reminding people that I need all of the thumbs. If I can add a little bit of hot glue to this front part. To give some height to my crashing wave. And to make a bit of it, oh, where are you? There you are. To make a bit of it, like, roll over, since waves kind of crash over, you know? This is just an idea I had in my head, like, right before the live feed. I don't know if it's actually going to look good. But in my head, it'll look good. But that string will not look good. Okay. This, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing right here. All right, so the idea is that that'll create more of sorry about all the movement. Where's my this? Use hot glue, have some canned air at your disposal to set it where you want it.
You had me at donuts. Love it. Yeah, Desiree, this is from yesterday, I think. Just a thought, black background with the blues. Oh, yeah. That would definitely make an awesome looking nebula. So I'm just going to see what it looks like if I use just a white paint pen. And then obviously I can come back in with um, a white glitter. This may end up just being a frozen ocean. Since this wave is textured, I can kind of antique it by putting some paint down and then rubbing the excess off and that will leave the white in the little crevices. You can do that going back further as well. No, oh, I don't like that gap right there. So anyways, I'm working on this idea, but I wanted to kind of brainstorm it with you guys, see what you thought. If I built that wave up with um, some more hot glue which is most likely what I'm going to do. So yeah. Well, thank you, Christine. My pleasure to help out or inspire or anything. Have a great day, Emma. Slight brush of the ridges with a brush to give the white on the caps. Exactly. But I didn't have it. A, a um, something. I don't have a dry brush on me. And I wasn't planning on really like going in really hard on this piece on this video. But um, if you guys want me to finish this on camera, let me know and I'll do that for you guys. All right. Meow. Let me get some gloves before even bothering with this. Thanks, you guys. Okay, definitely we'll do it on video then. So now I'm going to use High Build. I have a few kits left on my website. You can find High Build under um, Eli Kim or just resins. And it comes with a kit with a whole bunch of colors. Um, the kits are only in this size right now. I'm working on getting bigger buckets of it. Okay, well, that's not telling me anything about working time. It's not a very long working time. But it's also not giving me a whole bunch of information. So, hold on. It appears that our donuts are about half cured. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and prepare my this. So. Where they at? They're right they're over here. They're just they're just um, setting up before I. There's my titanium. You need to slowly pull it, pour it. Like, cause it's good to know in retrospect. Huh? It's good to know in retrospect. I figured you would. I just did it just because I didn't make it. No, I messed up. I should have poured it more full. Anyway, so those of you at home, pour it all the way full. 
All right. Someone sent us something not too long ago that came with a silicone mat. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to continue with my like melting stuff series and make essentially some melting donuts. Oh, it's got a little puppy pads. So I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use this side because I want it to be flat and smooth. All right. I can feel the heat coming off of these bad boys. Alrighty. What's up, JJ? How you is? Yeah. It's just regular. So I'm not going to need that mat for just a moment. Let's go ahead and mix some eye belt. Ooh, we need to pick a color. Uh, I'm going to do the black donuts with gold icing. What color should we do the brown one? Should we do it pink like the Homer donut? Probably. I need a pink, I need a pink, I need a pink. This looks a little bit like Homer pink. Doesn't it, or is it too pale? I don't think I have a bright pink over here. All right. We'll use wild jasmine. It was it was it a neon pink or was it a pastel pink? Homer's donut. Oh well, since you put it that way, we'll just do one with this color and one with this color. Bam. Homer's donut. You know. You know, no. Homer Simpson. Okie doke. Where's my this? So, this stuff is super thick, ultra goopy. which is good because that's what makes it high build. You can put it different um, places and it's not gonna slump and move and travel. So if you know people that do those, the dot art, this resin will be right up their alley. I think it says after 20 minutes, you can stack the next layer of high build on it. This stuff, I have no idea about the UV resistance. What is that? Hardener. But just like all resins, do your best to have a perfectly uh, even mixture. Oh. Now the resin bit. Sorry, my Wi-Fi says it's not gonna work right now, so one second. That's better. Pink with sprinkles, love it. 
Hardly watched any TV. Well, okay. So if you Google Homer Simpson donut or even Homer donut, it'll, or Simpsons donut, it'll pull up like a stereotypical The color of the Simpsons? Well, I'm not sure. But if you've ever watched The Simpsons, Homer Simpson loves donuts. It He could survive off of donuts. This stuff is super goopy. You can quote me, goopy. I'm just gonna set this over here to drain into the next thing. All right, meow, need to pour the thickest of the two into the thinnest of the two. This is like mixing cold honey with cold syrup. Very exciting, I tell you. Look at this. But it's what you want if you want to, let's say, paint a donut that looks glazed. This is perfect. Hey, Clara, way to be tardy. Lisa, I have totally mixed up lids to these. Valerie, oh yeah, and beer, he totally loves beer too. What's it called, Duff's beer, maybe? Denise says, hello, Dragon Queen. This stuff, you, you, I think you just have to time how long you mix it for. Because usually you can look at resin when it's fully incorporated. You can tell this stuff. I don't know. Because it's, it looks like if you melted hot glue sticks and it just never solidified, it just stayed liquid. It's got that kind of translucentness to it. Or you know that non-dairy milk, milk, it's that color. Hi, Gail. Did you know dragons symbolize protectors in Norway and maybe also elsewhere? I didn't know that, but um, it makes sense. Also, Clara is very much a protector. So just like with the quick coat, I'm gonna mix it for a little bit in this cup and then I'm gonna switch it over to the other cup and mix it in there as well. Notice I am quite frequently scraping the sides and the stir stick off to make sure I have a complete mixture of all of the resins. This one would be the easiest to have weak spots in it because it's so thick. It's hard to get it fully incorporated if you're not extremely diligent. I don't want to scare you off of working with it. It's a great product. I'm just saying. I did all the fails, so you don't have to. Are you in a superhero pose, Clara? Dragons equal mobile marshmallow roasters. Okay. That's brilliant.
as you can see, it hasn't cleared up, which regular resin, like art or craft resin would have at this point. I'm gonna mix it for about 30 more seconds and then we'll put some color in these. Oh, hey. <laughs> Is it goopy? That's very runny. I thought it'd be a little bit more. What's the what's the working time for it? Um, it says you can add another layer, like if you wanna build it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing like that dot stuff after 20 minutes. So I'm mixing it more vigorously than I would other resins because that can speed up the curing process a little bit, thicken it some, and also leaving it in uh, the cup for a couple seconds will speed up the curing process. I need to get another bag. So, um, what size is this? The small one, the big one. I don't know if it's five and 10 or 10 and 20. Numbers are hard. If you click on the listing, it'll tell you what the two. I just got some new, um, no, some new uh, vials. And it'll say on them, what sign? Yes. So these are five mil. So this is five mil and that's 10 mil. Perfect. Do you have gold that I can use? Yes. Thank you, Toots. All right, these have cured. Oh my goodness, I should have filled them way more. Look at my sad, flat little donuts. It's all right, this is just a test. Maybe I can, nope. So these are just a test. So when you guys do these at home, fill your molds all the way up so you don't have deflated little donuts. Yeah, my donuts are flat, but it worked though. Okay. So I'm gonna move this. Put this down. I'm putting this mat on a board so that I can move it around without um, risking my everything. Bending, I need another cup. I need, not that. Hey Rhonda, how you doing? I'm making donuts, but they're, <laughs> they're a little flat. I only, I didn't fill them up enough. But that's okay. They look like skinny bagels. I accept. Every, Rhonda's in the house and everyone's like, Rhonda, um, I, just, I feel bad, but I need you to know that I laughed at you um, tossing your phone. Okay, we're going to make some gold. Some pink. And a teal, because Rhonda's in the house. Let's start with the pink. I'm going to start with Just Resin Carnation. Rhonda says, I think Jeff peed a little bit, laughing so hard. That might be true. You laugh pretty daggum hard. As... Um, we all did. Whoop, 
All right, then. So I'm going to use my this. I'm just going to use a, a bag. Pro tip, set it in a cup, and then you can dump all your color out into it without it getting everywhere. I'll be here all week. Follow me for more pro tips. All right, I'm gonna attempt to pipe some of this. I'm scared. All right. Bam. Now I need scissors. Scissors. Just gonna snip the tip. Pew. I did. I did it. All right, I'm gonna make a fairly good size little ring around the top. Then I'm gonna let it ooze on some of the sides. That looks true donutty. So with high build, you can kind of design what you want without worry that it's going to drip a little bit too far. Granted, you can still make it drip too far. So just put a little bit and just see how far it goes. I put a little bit too much, but YOLO. I wanted to do that. Oh, whoops. I wanted to do that and then um, kind of set it on its side like it was a melting donut, but... I'm going to have to mix a whole nother batch of resin for that. Anyways, let's do a little bit of heat. Not too much because you don't want to liquefy it. And I have these little beads. And I also have actual sprinkles. But I worry that my... Oh, okay. I worry that my actual sprinkles might... I don't want them to like rot on there. These little beads are too heavy. It's still a little bit too soft for this. Anyways, you get the idea. Donuts. Okay, now let's make the gold one because that's the one I'm really looking forward to. My resin is not yet hot, so that's awesome possum. I need gold. What's that? What is that? 008? Perf. Knew that was going to happen. You can get color glue sticks, and I think I have some.
So Rhonda, you could use that thickener instead of high build. I just, that stuff you really need to use a respirator for, as you know, but um, I just worry people will just not use a respirator. But maybe I'm wrong. Change the camera angle so you guys can get a close up of me getting crazy. All right. There. And apparently, I don't need as much as I thought I did, so I'm just gonna not fill it all the way up. I think just like when you bake, if you do something like this, um, make a few so that in case things go rogue with one, you've got a spare tip. Okay. Don't want it to get crazy like the last one. I'm just gonna try to be purposeful like this. Okay, okay, okay. No. Sometimes it comes down to trial and error. I don't know if I'm being more deliberate on this one or if it's just setting up not really hot yet so I'm not sure all right does it make cute decorations for those year old theme parties I concur all right so there's our black and gold so a little bit of heat pop any bubbles that's it Oh, that's still super liquid. That'll be probably liquid for a minute. All right, so let's make, let's make a brighter pink for the next one. I'll use this side because it's cuter. I could probably just drop this just into another one instead of, you know, because it's pretty flat. We'll see. All right, so we're going to use Wild Jasmine to make a brighter pink color. That is way too much pigment. Judy, don't hate me. Okay. Hot pink is what you're looking for. This, this is, this is it. All right. I'm just gonna, just gonna get, I'm just gonna do it this way. Instead of piping it.
it's getting a lot thicker, so. It's a lot easier to control. It's staying where I put it a lot better at this point. thicker at this point. Do you say you like it about my hot pink donut? Knew it. I wish I kept the squiggle a lot more loose like I did on that one, on all the rest of them. But you know what? You live and learn, yeah, I know. Just because this is just a trial run anyways. I'm not going to put any on the gold one. All right. So, I'm going to move this guy. And we're going to loose pour onto this one. Look at that side, it's cuter. <laughs> Breach, oh well. So I want to ultimately let these set up and then put them on their side so that they're like this. Oop, can't see it. So that they're on their side like this in a puddle of gold. And actually, I might just go ahead and try to do that. Because it's getting thicker. So I think it's almost to the point where I can set it in there and leave it. Okay, I need to make it kind of a blobby look. All right, hopefully not too much of my high build will run. Oops. Okay, here's the other conundrum. I don't want to sit here and hold this. Moving forward, I will hot glue this to the, to the silicone mat and um, put this in the hot glue and then put the Uh, gold around it. <sighs> I 
Rumple, where you been? Need a mold for the spill. We've been trying to create a mold for the spill, but um, not the easiest thing to make. There's no way it's just gonna stand up on its uh, on its own. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna come back in a little bit and set this up on its end. You've been in BC working in the heat. That's not fun. Anyways, loving how this guy turned out. I'm going to set this one up on its end. Um, probably in like 10 more minutes, I'll set that up so that it can start to cure. Attached. Way too thin. Um, I still have some clear, so I'm gonna make a puddle of this color. That is the wild jasmine. It's one of my favorite colors from resin art. It doesn't look that pink, but once you mix it up, it I don't know, it turns neon almost. Rizzo, how are you doing? Put a few toothpicks behind the donut as props. That's pretty brilliant. Let's see if I have any toothpicks. I'm also gonna attempt my hot glue theory as well. Right quick. I already have my hot glue gun plugged in and turned on and all that good stuff. All right. Just gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna get some of this. I don't understand why that didn't work, but didn't. It wants to fall forward. I should have put more hot glue on the front side. Anyways. I build puddle. I need five extra hands for doing this. Ultimately, when you guys try this at home, just don't rush the process. <gasps> yes, yes. No. No. 
some reason, it still wants to fall forward. This is a very sloppily executed way of doing this. I hope you guys try it, but do it much cleaner than how I am. I want some of this to drip off of here. If it could just stay like that, that would be super. Want it to like drip off, but stay like that, like it's, you know what I mean? Jelly beans. But I think I'm using it a little bit too soon. Like if it could just stay like that, it would be brilliant. Oh yeah, for Halloween, for sure. I'm going to have to do these again. Now that I have my test subjects out of the way. Yeah, that looks fun. How am I going to get sprinkles on it? I'm gonna have to just like put them in my hand and go. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. It worked. You got sprinkles everywhere, but I throw them. Ah, oh, man, you got some on my gold one. Oh, well. Probably. And I'm pretty sure I could probably just make them out of hot glue. Oh, for sure. So if you were going to do this at home, definitely take your time, do the frosting on it, let it cure, then do the puddle 100% for sure, for sure. I just wanted to get it all done in one video for you guys so you guys can see what the potential is. If I could get a drip out this way, it would be awesome. Not that much, no. It's gonna fall all the way. definitely going to fall too much. I wonder if I do. Nope. Didn't help at all. Anyways. 
This is my donut masterpiece. <laughs> you get it? No? Just me? Cool. Anyways, as soon as we get off of this a live feed, I'm going to do another batch of these, but take my time doing it so that um, I can make everything look like how I want it to look. And I hope you guys give it a shot. Take your time doing them. And um, tag us in, in your creations of these if you decide to post them. We want to see them. Not a bad idea, Robert. For sure, for sure, for sure. Throw them like spaghetti at a cabinet. Perfect. Perfect. So if you guys want to do um, some of these, make sure you tag us. Artistilldeath.com is our website to find these colors and the epoxy. I want to give these dudes another chance. Okay, that's too much. Um, if you would like, Please subscribe, leave me your thumbs, and uh, share a video if you liked it, or share it with people you don't like if you didn't like it, and uh, yeah. Thanks for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. Didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but not everything does, you know? Sometimes there's fails, sometimes you just learn from your master, your masterpiece, masterpiece. Yeah. Sometimes you just learn and then you can, uh, make adjustments and do something else. So I have learned and now I'm going to do a whole new set and I will, learned? I learned it. Let me check it out. No, I don't see it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so fun though. That, that looks like half donuts. No, it. With like caramel. Yeah. Rolled caramel. Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't know it was fixing me. Yeah, I was just telling um all the people's bye. Right, Robert. Words are hard. This is true. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna give this another shot. I will film it and I will post it so you guys can see how it was supposed to work. But this is the first time I have tried this because we like to do all of our tests with you guys so you can know what goes on, right? All right, you guys have an awesome day. What is today, Monday? Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We usually go live at 6 p.m. except for on Tuesdays. It's at 2 p.m. Central. And we'll see you guys manana. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And, and remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Kudos right there. Yep. He's looking at me. All right, you guys. Have an awesome night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Let's go see. Let's go see him. Hi, big bow Bowie. Oh, okay. He sits in front of his Beyonce fan. Are you my big Beyonce boy? Yeah. You have your fan? You know it. Hi, Mooper. Are you the biggest birthday boy? Are you the biggest one? Yeah. It's time for go walkies. Is it time to go for a walkies? Is it your favorite? It is your favorite. Yeah, you ready? Come on. Come on. Okay, I got you. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a big boy. I got you. I know. I got you. I got you. Oh. Calm down. All right, you guys. Coming out tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Anyone? I said bye.
finally. Yeah, but um, I stopped so I can um, show everybody the mover. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 